Welcome to introduction to Maya series. I am your instructor Rohan Pagi. In this video, our objective is to understand importance of hotbox and marking menus. In this video, we are going to learn how to use hotbox, different regions of hotbox, menus of hotbox and how to use marking menus. So let's start with the session. While modeling or while doing different kinds of processes in Maya, to speed up your workflow we generally use hotbox. So how to get the hotbox uh, in this uh, interface. To view hotbox, the shortcut key is spacebar. So press spacebar on your keyboard and you will see the floating menus appears in the viewport. So this is called hotbox. Basically hotbox and marking menus help to access menu item and tools at the current cursor position in viewport. As you can see over here in hotbox, there are different menus available over here and these are nothing but the all types of menus available in Maya, which we can see over here in menu bar. So let us talk about these menus first. First of all, over here, by default you can view at the top of the hotbox, there is a menu bar. Uh, the, those menus are available at the top, which are constant, or you can say, which do not change, uh, which are not context sensitive according to the menu set. So basically, if you'll go to uh, menu bar, uh, there are some menus like file, edit, create, uh, select, modify, display, window, cache, and help. Those are the uh, menus which don't change these are the stationary menus so those menus are available at the top which are stationary which are not context sensitive or you can say which do not change according to the menu set below this menus we have panel menus these panel menus are available at the top of every panel so as you can see over here, uh, the panel menus are view, shading, lighting, show, renderer, and panels. And the same menus you can have in the second row of hotbox. So you can simply go to uh, select any menu of the panel and you can select according to your requirement. So you can simply, if you want to save the file, you can simply go to file and you can save the scene over here. So you can access any menu just by using hotbox at the bottom you can see that there are some options like mesh edit mesh skeleton key and all different kinds of rows are available over here there are five different rows but these five different menus which are available at the bottom area of hotbox are nothing but the menus which you get after selecting the menu set from the status bar so as you can see if i'll choose rigging i'll get the rigging menus if I click on the modeling, I'll get modeling menus. So as you know that, uh, if all the menus on the menu bar changes according to the menu set, but at the hot box, if you press space bar on your keyboard, you get all the context sensitive menus one after one. You need not to go to all the time to change and then see those menus. You can have, you can access all the menu set options or menu set menus uh, just with the help of hotbox so if you are uh, if you are doing a modeling you can handle modeling menus uh, also you want to do a rigging simultaneously you can have the rigging menus animation menus so basically hotbox will have menu bar menus panel menus and context sensitive menu set menus at the bottom side of the hotbox. At the left side of my hotbox, there is an option called as recent command. If I click right now, I don't have any recently used command, so it is not showing me anything. But for example, 
I'll go to cube and then I'll just use edit mesh insert each loop tool just for an example let us use any kind of tool mesh tool insert each loop tool and I'll insert an edge over here so I'll go to object mode and now I'm using extrude tool and just select it select a face extrude face and I have extruded so right now I have used two different options that is um, insert age and extrude I'll press hotbox now a recent command and you can see that there are two different uh, options like you know perform extrude split uh, age ring tool and polycube so basically recent command will show you recently used commands which you can access at any time while modeling or while doing any kind of a process in Maya. This will speed up your workflow. At the right side of my hotbox, I have hotbox controls. So if you left click on this hotbox control, you can see there are some menus uh, appearing over here and these menus are nothing but marking menus. So marking menus will appear according to these are context sensitive it will appear according to your cursor uh, position so if i press press left mouse button on recent command it is uh, giving me the floating window of marking menus related to the recent command if i left click on hotbox control it is showing me the marking menus of hotbox control so the menus which are appearing according to my cursor position those are called as marking menus so on hotbox control we have show modeling show rigging show rendering and different types of options like show all and hide all so what are these menus let us see now as you can see i have the menus of all the processes available in maya like modeling animation rigging and fx and texturing so if you don't want to see all these menus at a time you are working uh, with the modeling process and you don't need other options to be appear uh, in hotbox so you can hide them you just need to press spacebar left mouse button on hotbox control i don't want to see uh, you know uh, other options and i want to see only modeling so what you can do is go to show modeling and there is an option called as uh, show or hide modeling so it will hide modeling menus and it will keep other menus but I don't I want to do vice versa I want to see only modeling menus and I want to hide other menus so there is an option which says modeling only it means it will only show me the modeling menus in hotbox so just select it and now press hotbox uh, uh, for hotbox uh, press spacebar and you can see that there are only modeling menus available all the other menus are not available here and they are invisible now so in this same way if you want to turn on only animation or fx menus you can do the same process press spacebar go to hotbox control and i want to see only animation menus i'll go to show animation animation only and you can see right now at the bottom area i can see only uh, menus which are related with the animation if you don't want to see any of the menus what you can do is you can simply click on the hotbox control and just say hide all so you can see if i press spacebar i see only hotbox uh, uh, with no menus only the menus available over here are recent command hotbox control and maya so basically with the help of hide all you can hide all the menus which are uh, coming as a floating windows in hotbox if you want to see all those menus again you can simply left mouse button click on hotbox control and choose show all so you can see all the menus again so basically when i press this uh, space bar i'll just go to hotbox and i again hide all right now i don't see any kind of uh, menus available over here the other main thing about hotbox is 
these thick lines which you see over here at the top and at the bottom. These uh, thick lines are available at the periphery of this hot box. These are dividing this hot box into five different regions. And after clicking on these regions, you will get different marking menus. So let us see what regions are these. So first of all, first region is center region. So if you'll click with the help of left mouse button at center region, you get the marking menus related with the views. So basically, center region will allow you to switch between perspective view and other orthographic views. Just see that, how you can use it. Right now we are in perspective view. I want to switch this perspective view into front view. So move your cursor to center region, left mouse button and choose the respective view that is front view. You can see that I am now switched to front view. You want to go to perspective view again. So you can press spacebar on your keyboard for hotbox, left mouse button and choose perspective view. So you will get back to your perspective view. So basically center region will give you the marking menus related to different views which will allow you to toggle between different views so for back view you can go to right view you can go to top view you can go to perspective at any time the second region is north region which is at the top side if you click with the help of left mouse button at the top area that is north region you will get the menus related with the layouts. While working in Maya, you might require any kind of windows, there are different kind of windows. So you can change your layout according to the process and requirement which you are using. So for example, I'm modeling, I'm in a modeling process and I want outliner and perspective so what you can do is you can simply select this layout called as perspective and outliner it will change my layout to perspective and it shows me the outliner at the left side of my interface so it is a uh, very quick you can quickly access uh, windows and uh, you know different layouts with a single click you just need to press spacebar press uh, left mouse button at the north side and choose your respective layout for example i am working in animation mode so I will require graph editor. So you can simply select perspective and graph. So it will show me, it will divide this view into two different views that is perspective and graph with which I can, you know, work simultaneously, animate it and I can change the graph and make changes to the animation. Right, I want single perspective, so I'll go to perspective, press space bar, right. So, North region will allow you to select different layouts. Now, East region, which is at the bottom area of the hot box. Click left mouse button and you will see that there are different kinds of windows available over here. So, what are these windows? So basically, if I click on Outliner, it is going to change my perspective view into Outliner window. So you can quickly access these windows. Just need to click at the bottom area of Hotbox and you can get any window at any time according to your process. I can get a graph editor. I can change this view to Hypershade. It will take a little bit of time. Hypershade, which you can use for you know accessing different kinds of nodes at the time of texturing. So basically just need to click at the bottom area and choose your respective uh, window. I want perspective again, so I'll click at the center, perspective. If you press space bar and click left mouse click at this area left side, it is nothing but the uh, south area of your hotbox. And at the south area, 
no, sorry, this is not the South area. And this is uh, uh, selection mask. This is a waste area which, uh, which helps you, which allows you uh, to select a different kind of selection mask. This is the waste area. So at the west area of my uh, hotbox, you get selection masks. So we use this selection mask to turn on or turn off the selection uh, mode of any kind of object, of knobs, or any kind of hierarchy, animation, or any kind of deformers you have created. So you can turn off the selection of deformers and uh, related to the polygon and dynamic mask. So at the west region, it will allow you the selection mask. It will show you the marking menus related with the selection mask. The next uh, thing is this area, which is which will allow you right side at the hot box right side. So it will allow you to you know uh, hide or unhide the UI element, which is uh, this region. If you'll select help line or let us select shelf if i select shelf you can see that uh, my shelf is not available in the interface so it will help you to hide and hide the ui elements i want to bring a uh, shelf back so press spacebar left mouse button at the right side and again click on shelf i'll get back my shelf you can turn off time slider you can again turn off uh, you know, other settings like status line. You can turn off toolbox. You can turn off uh, a range slider. So basically, it will help you to increase your workspace one by one. I want to bring back all those uh, UI elements. You can select those back. So you will get it again on the interface. right so basically the top region will give you uh, different kinds of uh, views layouts which will help you to change between different layouts the bottom region will give you different kind of windows available in uh, maya you can switch to any kind of window according to your process at the left side uh, you get the mask selection masks and at the right side you can uh, hide or unhide ui elements and at the center you can simply switch the views to any orthographic view or perspective. Now, what about marking menus? As I said that these are context sensitive marking. Marking menus are context sensitive menus, which will appear according to your cursor position and selection, right? So as I said, if I am in a hot box and if I click on any menu, uh, so my cursor is uh, on hot box control. So the marking menus are hot box uh, related with the hot box control. So now if I select an object, you just create an object or select an object and now my cursor is on that object and if I click uh, right mouse button, so these are the marking menus which I uh, get which are related with the object and object modification, object selection. So it gives me uh, the marking menus related with object. So simply I can switch to vertex mode and I can edit that particular shape. I, again, I want to go back to object mode, so that gives me object mode marking menu, right? So marking menus are context sensitive. It works, it gives you the floating windows according to the selection and the position of your cursor. So this is about the hot box. Let us see what we have seen in this video. So in this video, we have learned hotbox gives a quick access to tools and menus spacebar is a hotkey for hotbox hotbox have four regions that is center north east south and west center region allows to change between perspective and orthographic view. North region allows to select a layout for a scene. East region allows you to show or hide 
different UI elements. South region allow you to display a window such as Outliner or any kind of other windows like Hypershade which you can use according to the different processes. East region allow you to display the selection mask and selection notes. For any query, you can follow me on Facebook or you can write me an email on rohan.pageanimator at gmail.com. Thank you.